Satnam and uh, many blessings to all of you on this beautiful day where the stars are aligned again and uh, where the rivers are aligned again. Uh, when you move consciously, when you breathe consciously, uh, when you chant consciously, when you see consciously, when you hear consciously, something gets aligned with you. And when this whole alignment gets aligned with the stars and the cosmos, it creates a sacred space. Okay. When this aligns, this alignment of the breath, of the tongue, of the blinking of the eye, beat of the heart, the pulse of the navel, all this you, localized consciousness, the individuality, when this becomes a synchronized sahamadhi, samadhi, no segmentation, when this aligns with the cosmos, you in the form of universal consciousness. Now this is you in the form of individualized, localized, localized consciousness. And when you embrace this and this expands, and then the universal consciousness, the inner and the outer becomes one, a space is created. And that space is called Mahurat. Mahurat. Mahurat means a friendly space, a friendly space where you can change any pattern in your body, where you can change your bio memory, where you can change your muscle memory, your story which you have written unconsciously, rewriting it. And not only that, this can also change the Akashic records, what you will be in the future, just with alignments. And today's session is about alignment, activating immunity, activating health, and much deeper than that. So I, you know, thank you for coming and sitting and sharing this space with me. Uh, we will do some, uh, we will have some conversations and uh, if time permits, we will have Q&A. If not some beautiful, uh, you know, tools and techniques from the caves of the Himalayas, where once upon a time a sage became pregnant with the divine wisdom and he spoke it out and it was heard by the trees. Trees can hear. It was heard by the mountains. It was heard by the caves. It was heard by the rivers. And then when you become receptive, they talk to you. They talk to you. Just like, you know, you can talk, self-talk. You're doing it, you're listening. You are doing all these all the time. Similarly, when you expand yourself from here to here, the cosmos talks with you. That wisdom of the stars, uh, with the grace of the Guru, with the grace of my beloved master, I'll be sharing with you. So today's session is all about the breath and how to use the breath to increase your immunity and in general, your health. Now, what is the breath? First of all, let us understand what is the breath, the depth of the breath, why the breath? Before, before God was exiled, before God was exiled to the faraway land, it's called the paradise. Before God was exiled, thrown out, thrown away to the faraway land, we call it, they call it paradise, heavens. Before God was prisoned by individual religious groups, by sects, by ideologies, God or the divine lived among us, lived among us inside you and inside me and all that is. Those days, those times, they worshiped the trees and the trees became sacred trees. 
In those days, they worship the mountains and the mountains became sacred mountains. And in those days, they worship the rivers and the rivers became sacred rivers. And in those days, they worship the breath and the breath became the sacred breath. We lost our touch with the breath. Because all your problems are there because you have breath. If breath stops, you end, your problem ends. Because all your problems are there because of the breath, all the solutions are also in the breath. There's a beautiful sutra in the books of wisdom, in the books of wisdom called the Vedas. We are understanding the breath before we know what breath is and what immunity is. You have to understand the breath. So we, can say we are creating a container where we all can sit and receive. In the books of wisdom called the Vedas, the four Vedas, there's a Veda called the Yazur Veda. In the Yazur Veda, there's a beautiful question, a very beautiful question and a very beautiful answer. This is a question and answer between someone who wanted to know and the question was asked to the first recognized female sage in the lineage of the stars. The first recognized, not the first one, but the first one recognized. Uh, the female body is such that when she receives, when she becomes pregnant with the wisdom, she's quiet. Rarely a female sage who become enlightened speaks. This was a very rare case. There was a question, the most important question. And they came to the sage. Her name was, and before I say her name, it's a tradition. It's a tradition in the Himalayan tradition that when her name is mentioned, when her name is mentioned, the female sage, the recognized sage, the sage who gave the wisdom, the ultimate wisdom. When her name is mentioned, one must close the eyes for a second and be in reverence towards that great female sage. So I humbly request, close your eyes and just be in reverence for a few seconds to receive the name of this beautiful sage who gave the wisdom of the breath. Satnam. And please open your eyes. Somebody asked her, you are the enlightened one. I have a question. And the question was, Katham eko deva iti. Katham eko deva iti. Which means, what is this one God? Everybody talking about, what is this one God? How to understand this one God? What is the one God? And she answers, Prana Iti sa brahmaha. Prana iti sa brahmaha. Your prana, your breath is God. That's it. God is your breath. Breath is your God. That's all. If you know your breath, you know everything. And if you don't know your breath, you don't know everything. Anything. All the ancient wisdom, all the future wisdom is going to be born through the breath. The breath has two points. The breath has two points. One is the inner point and one is the outer points. It's called Aadhaar, anchoring point. Inner point and a outer point. As you exhale, the breath stops. And for a few seconds, it changes its gear and it goes in. And as it goes in, it also changes its gear. In the words of Rumi, he says, where the road ends, you and me shall meet. And this is the road. As long as the breath is in movement, your mind is in movement. So when the breath is moving, your mind is moving. And a few seconds, as the breath stops, it changes its gear, your mind stops. The going out breath is death and the coming in breath is life. So life and death 
happening on the road on the road life and death can only be experienced while you are on the road and this is moving this is moving when the breath stops and changes its gear at that moment you are neither in the realm of life you are neither in the realm of death you have transcended both this is the most important point this is the space of immunity this is the place of health this is the place of wealth totality this is the black hole and according to the ancient sages this is exactly 10 fingers away from you 10 fingers away from you your ultimate health your ultimate wealth your ultimate prosperity your vision your mission your attention your intention whatever you call it it is right here 10 fingers away from you 4 8 and 10 exactly here tra sat ungal vai audu sun sach aharo this is the primordial dark space this is the black hole this is the point which corresponds to the black hole and from here life is taking birth and into this death is dissolving and every breath every breath you are touching it two times you are touching your essence two times and if you become aware of that you go off the road you go off the road where the road ends rumi says that you and me shall meet and the fact is every individual on the planet is meeting here every breath every breath gives you an experience of totality here you and me are one and as the breath comes in i become individual you become individual the holding on to the breath gives us an individual experience and when you ride the breath and you become aware of where life and death is taking birth you and me become one this space is called ik omkar one universal consciousness every breath is bringing you back home the problem is we only know one side of the breath the breath goes in this we don't this we don't know. okay when the breath is held inside it is called life and when the breath is held outside it is called death life and death happening all the time this is the known you and this is the unknown you if you can be with the breath immunity health wealth and all the problems that you give birth because you hold the breath too tight they will dissolve when you relax the breath and you allow the breath to be so today's journey we will be diving into the sacred space we will prepare ourselves we will prepare ourselves and touch the sacred space where you and me will forget our story and we will become one with the cosmos so journey starts when the spine is straight so let's bring our spine straight spine straight and both hands in the center of the chest both hands in the center of the chest the left hand and the right hand the negative mind and the positive mind going into the neutral mind reverence to the breath reverence to the cosmos eyes will be closed and those of you who are new listen to this mantra and those of you who know the mantra please chant with me and the mantra is ong namo gurudev namo we will chant this three times in two breath so be with us eyes closed spine straight hands in the center of the chest invite the cosmos invite the stars invite the mountains invite the trees don't sit alone don't sit alone because health is oneness with all so eyes closed and let's invite the sacred trees invite the sacred mountains invite the sacred rivers beautiful beautiful inhale and exhale and we will tune in with om namo gurudev namo 
your eyes hold the breath and tense your eyes tense your eyes and now please tense your forehead tense your forehead tense your skull please tense your skull tense your skull tense your forehead tense your eyes and through the nose exhale one more time inhale and hold and as you hold the sacred breath let this breath be the breath of the mountains and please tense your eyes tense your forehead tense your skull and tense your spine tense your spine tense your spine tense your eyes tense your forehead tense your skull these are the points in the body which we need to activate and hold and hold and exhale and one more time powerfully inhale through the nose and as you hold the sacred breath let this breath be the breath of the sacred trees hold and please tense your eyes and tense your forehead tense your skull tense your spine tense your spine and tense your legs tense your legs your feet your legs your feet and now the whole body tense the body squeeze the body tense the body hold the prana hold the divine hold the breath within yourself and activate all the 33 trillion cells in the body hold for medical reasons relax other than that hold the breath as you hold the breath you're holding life and when you hold the life you become alive feel the aliveness and powerfully through the nose exhale and one more time powerfully inhale and hold and as you hold the sacred breath tense the whole body my friends we are activating the sacred points in the body this is important for you this is important for you before you can dive into what we going to dive into today squeeze the body tense the body tense the body from head to toe the eyes the skull the forehead and squeeze and tense all the 33 trillion cells in the body from the tip of the toe to the tip of the skull align align yourself align yourself 
and through the nose, exhale. And for the last time, inhale through the nose powerfully. And hold. And once again, please tense the whole body. Tense the body. As you hold the breath of life, as you hold the breath, you are holding life. And as you hold the life, you become alive. I want you to hold the breath and feel your aliveness. Feel the sensations. Feel the life, the vibrations in the body. Something activates in you. When you hold the breath, you're holding paradise within yourself. When you hold the breath, you're holding the divine within yourself. When you hold the breath, you are holding the cosmos within you. You are extending the sacred point where life and death merges. You are touching the primordial black hole. You are touching the primordial dark space. Hold. Medical reasons, relax. Other than that, squeeze and tense the body. Tense the body. Tense the body. And through the nose, exhale. Very slowly, open your eyes. Satna. This was to tune yourself with yourself. Self-tuning, synchronization. Something starts to vibrate in you. Something starts to vibrate in you. Some sensations start to take birth. The play of the breath. When you play with your breath, we call it pranayama. You can play with your breath. By playing with the breath, you become friendly with the breath. And when you become friendly with the breath, you can change anything because everything is because of the breath. Pranayama is the art of playing with your breath. Pranayama, there are three types. Three types of pranayama. Three types of friendship you can have with your breath. Three types of friendship. To know your breath. Friendship means to know your breath. Three types of friendship. In the first friendship with the breath, you will feel heat in the body. Most of you would have already felt it. We did five circles with the breath. We did five dancing with the breath. You know, like the Sufi masters, they were, we whirled with the breath. And when you whirled with the breath, when you dance with the breath, when you synchronize with your breath, the first thing that comes out of this friendship is called heat, psychic heat in the body. Fire is activated. When you have fire in the body, immunity takes birth. Health takes birth. The more the body, the, the more the body is cold, the closer you are towards death. What is death? When the body becomes cold. What is life? When the body becomes warm, hot. It is called the sacred fire. There's digestive fire, there's intellectual fire, and then there's a psychic fire. It's called the yoga agni, the fire which is initiated when you sing, when you synchronize, when you dance with the wisdom of yoga, which is the breath. The whirling with your breath. That's what we did. And we extended the point, and we extended the point where life and death merges, where time and space dissolves. Do you know that every end of the breath, you are going beyond time and space. You're going beyond your story. You're going beyond your problems. You're going beyond your solutions. The problem is you're not aware. That's all. Yoga is becoming aware. So the first friendship, the first dance, with the breath creates heat in the body. And this heat gives you ultimate immunity. Now, physically, mentally, spiritually, you are elevated. You know, sometimes you're stuck in a thought and you can't come out of it. Why? Because there is not enough heat in the body. So the first friendship with the breath Heat is produced in the body. This heat is life. And if you keep dancing and you bring this friendship deeper, it becomes an everyday relationship. Everyday relationship. You know, when you want to create a good friendship with someone, you meet that person every day. And this process of deepening your friendship 
with the breath is called sahadana is called sahadana saha means breath saha means breath dhana means treasure look at that dhana means treasure sadhana means to search for the treasure in the breath there are two you you know there is not one you one is you which the cosmos which the divine which the universe created and there's one you inside which you created and constantly there's a conflict between the two sadhana to find the treasure within the breath means to quieten both and experience that space where both this the real i and the superficial i was born and that space is where the breath ends if you cannot do anything just start inhaling and holding your breath this is the first step to activate immunity first step to activate health if you cannot stop your breath within you you cannot embrace life you will die fast you will become ill if you cannot ease yourself if you cannot ease yourself with the breath held inside the outcome of that is disease disease first step of friendship holding the breath activating the heat so the first step activating the heat now if the friendship goes deeper sadhana you start to search the treasure in the breath this is the only treasure there's no other treasure health wealth prosperity you at the level of the body you at the level of the mind you at the level of whatever layers you are in the five layers the five koshas in the body everything there is because of the sacred point 10 fingers away from you and if you keep seeking you keep searching you keep dancing with the breath then comes the second step of friendship friendship with the breath equivalent to immunity health wealth prosperity knowing yourself knowing the universe all the solutions not just immunity all that which you are longing is there in the breath when you become aware of the breath when you become aware of the divine the breath is called ru ru means soul the breath is the soul there is no other soul soul has no form soul cannot be confined it is all pervading all this is within the breath if the soul cannot be confined how can the soul be inside have you ever wondered if the soul have no limits how can it be limited by the body and the mind so what is soul the soul is not inside you you are inside the soul it's all pervading it's like the fish in the water they say the ancient sages the fish in the water the water is inside the fish and also outside of the fish soul the root the self the consciousness awareness god whatever divine you call it is not inside it's outside and inside all together there's a sutra by the great yogi a great master guru nanak he says nanak ka jiyo pind guru hai guru mil tript agahi which means my essence my body my mind inside outside everywhere is divine and that is experienced through just the breath nothing else so the first level of friendship heat in the body immunity health wealth prosperity opportunities comes into you because you have synchronized with the soul with the root with the spirit this is it as long as the soul goes in you are alive when the soul is not there the breath is not there you are gone so soul is your breath ru is your breath god is your breath know that and you shall know everything that which you are seeking 
is under the nose. Because you are constantly looking up, looking out. You don't look here. This is the connection, the inner and the outer. So second layer of friendship, second level of friendship, what happens? If the friendship, if you start whirling every day, if you start synchronizing every day, if you start dancing every day with your breath, holding, 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 and then you let it go. If you do it every day, second level, your body will start to vibrate. First level creates heat. Second level, it starts to vibrate. Sensations in the, suddenly you become alive. You become alive. And aliveness is the sensations. Aliveness is a vibration. The more the vibrations, the more the alive. Now again, what is death when there is no vibrations in the body? When the breath goes deeper, there are sensations in the body. Suddenly you feel your face for the first time. You know, we see our face in the mirrors. That is not our face. That is the reflection of the face. You see yourself in the mirrors. That is not you. That's your reflection. You have never seen yourself. And the breath shall give you an experience of the self. Suddenly, different parts of the body starts to vibrate. There are sensations. This is called the dance of the goddess. Kundalini awakening, they call it. This is the first step. The goddess in you starts to dance. Life becomes musical. Life becomes colorful only when the breath starts to go in and synchronize every. According to the yogic teachings, there are 33 trillion cells in the body. The yogic teachings. And also there are 33 trillion gods and goddesses in the creation. Every cell, one god, one goddess. The breath gives you an experience of godliness. Ultimate health, ultimate immunity. And this is a fact. These are the secrets. And it's not complicated, my friends. You don't have to stand on your head. You don't even have to stand on one leg. Learn to stand on two legs. That is good enough. One is yoga, one is gymnastics. There's very lot of difference, but today there's a lot of confusion. That's a different story. Let's come back to our story today. So the second level, the body starts to vibrate. We call it Nada Yoga. Nada Yoga. This is not Yoga. Those of you who know what I'm talking about. One is called the Mantra Yoga. One is called the Nada Yoga. Now, very different. Mantra Yoga is when you sing to the cosmos. Mantra Yoga is when you sing to the cosmos. Nadi Yoga is when cosmos sings back to you. Sings back to you. And that singing, that sensations, that vibrations, that Nad, it's called Nad, starts with the breath. As you bring your friendship closer with the breath, the breath starts to activate and that's the sensations. This is when special gifts that you were born with that was written in the Akashic records that you shall have it, but you did not have it. Why? Because you did not search the breath. You did not search the Saha Dhana, the treasure in the breath. You did not live a complete life. Why? Because your breath was not deep. When the breath is shallow, life is shallow. And when the breath is deep, life is deep. That's all. So the second level, you enter into the realm of Nada Yoga. Nada Yoga. When your body sings the song, where the cosmos sings song, where everything starts singing song to you. That is the second level of the breath. Okay. And the third level, and the third level, when the friendship even goes closer. When the friendship even grows, Closer. And that is your body becomes light. Your body becomes light. Number one, the first layer. The first layer. Your body becomes 
psychic, the psychic heat is born. Number two, vibrations, Nadi Yoga. You give birth to Nadi Yoga. You give birth to Nadi Yoga. You become a yogi. You become a yogi. You know, all the wisdom of the stars is inside this, you know. Because this contains stardust. The stardust in the furthest star is also vibrating here. Because the problem was you stayed here. Depression, stress, a lot of thoughts. You want to change, you can't change. Why did you not take the shelter of the breath? Why did you not take the shelter of the breath? When the sages of the past says, Prana iti saha brahma, prana is God. And those of you read Japji every day, Pavana Guru, Pavana Guru, the breath is the wisdom holder. This wisdom needs to be shared with every individual today. This wisdom of the breath, my friends, you don't have to do complicated things. No complicated things. Dharma, wisdom is simple. That which is simple is dharma. That which is simple is wisdom. That which is not simple, it's stages, it's levels, it's complications, it's organizations. Dharma gives you wisdom freely and it's simple. Just with the breath, hold the breath. You may think so simple, but let me tell you, this is the simplicity of life. Organizations organize you. Dharma, dhar means anchor. Dhar means anchor. Ma means the self. Dharma means anchoring of the self. Dharma anchors you into yourself, your pure self. You without your story. You without your story. The pure self. Okay. So the three levels and the third level, as I mentioned, you become light. You become light. This is the highest part of the friendship between you and your breath. Light, body becomes light. Body becomes light, weightless. And also, body becomes light, radiance. This is the peak of the friendship between you and your breath. I have a number of kriyas that I want to share with you. And many a times when I come and sit with you, things change. And things have changed now. <clears throat> but I'll, I'll make sure whatever I have planned, we have three days, you know, three weekends, and I'll share everything with you. Don't worry. But there's a sutra that comes to my mind now. A sutra. It's called Shastra Praman. When you say something, it must be recognized. It must have a seal. It must have a stamp by the sages of the past. Those who sat in the Himalayas. Those who sat in the Himalayas. They must give you the stamp. Yes. Shastra Praman. Very important then you don't create this out of yourself. And then it's not the superficial I who's creating this. It is the pure I. Your beingness without your story is giving you, assessing the stars. That's a beautiful sutra. Tasmatra prani stithate deha mragam nev jayate vayuna gat sambandate bhavetra keval kumb karam That's it. Translation, simple translation. It says, as long as there's breath in the body, as long as there's breath in the body, you never die. As long as the breath is deep, disease, illness, doesn't touch you. Okay? As long as there's breath in the body, you never die. And then the next sutra says, then why don't you learn to hold the breath in the body? 
and prolong your life. And that's it. Actually, it's nothing more needed. This is the ultimate pranayam. When you reach a certain level of realization, the certain level of friendship, as you go deeper and deeper into the art or the science of friendship with the ultimate reality, which is running under the nose, we call it the breath, we call it the prana, we call it the chi, we call it the vital force. As you go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper, you don't need to do all this complicated stuff. And I know I teach complicated stuff also because complicated people come to me, I have to give them complicated. But this is the ultimate sutra, my friends. Those of you who've been studying with me for some time, all you need in pranayam is, according to the sutra, according to the seal of the past, according to the lion's rod in the Himalayas, they say, as long as you hold your breath, you don't die. Why don't you hold your breath for long? That's it. And you will prolong your life. And this is the another sutra. We did this in the beginning, in fact, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is just the Shastra Pramana. Holding the breath. Just holding the breath will give you the ultimate uh, immunity. That's it. Because it creates fire, agni. And agni, fire, radiance in the Rig Veda, the oldest text on the planet, according to the modern research, it is 90,000 years ago it was written. It may not make sense for those who follow this uh, another time frame, you know, but the other time frame doesn't make sense to the Vedic time frame. So there's no sense on both sides. Whatever makes sense to you, you take it. So 90,000 years ago, there was this text written called the Rig Veda, the first wisdom book on the planet. And it writes the first sutra. So first sutra, the first reverence, the first gratitude. Okay. To life. The reverence. The first reverence, the first worship, I will call it, was given to the fire. The first sutra is on the fire because fire is everything. When humans found fire, we conquered the world. So when you hold the breath and that activates the agni, the prana, the agniha prana, the vital force, and that is the reason for ultimate immunity. And I will do complicated kriya towards the end. We have time. Okay, but this is all you need, those of you who have been with me. So inhaling and holding the breath will give you the ultimate wisdom. So let's start and dive into this Kriya. Uh, I will first go to the, 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 the more simpler version, which is the advanced version. Then I will go to more complicated version, which is a more of a starter's version. Okay, for those who start the path, we need to give them complicated complication because there's, there's a lot of complications here. But whatever the flow is, we will go with it today. So my friends, spine straight. Let's, let's activate the fire and let's activate the immunity, immune system, boosting the immune system with the breath. And you will feel the difference right here, right now. It's not some promise in the future. Okay, spine straight, my friends. Now, um, let's bring our hands, right hand like this. Okay. And left hand like this. So, okay, so left hand is like this and right hand is like this, okay? So one is a zero and one is uh, pointing up, which is one. So zero and one, infinity and creation, okay? So both united together. One is Shiva, one is Shakti, okay? So bring them here, right in the center, of the heart center and the navel center. We're gonna boost your immune system today. And for that, this Kriya is needed. Okay, so right here, left hand below, zero. Right hand above with one. Yes, one together. Right here, this is my navel and this is my heart right here. And don't touch it, but bring it right here. Some space about, you know, about this much space between the body and your hands. Don't touch it together right here. Okay, so this is how it goes. What are you going to do is, you're going to squeeze your hands. Squeeze. Squeeze and tense your hands, your fist, very tight. Okay, very tight. Uh, for medical reasons, my friends, you know yourself better. I don't know you. Okay, energetically, we are connected. 
but physically there are some limitations due to certain karma certain circumstances you have created for yourself so if you have any limitations anything that due to medical reasons you can't do any of this totally fine just simplify it so that it's easy for you okay so right hands here and bring these hands into a tight fist very tight fist that so, so tight that the hands starts to vibrate and the hands start to shake now look at me for a second so you see my hands are shaking i'm not doing this i'm not doing this it's happening it is happening this is happening i'm not doing it what i'm doing is i'm just squeezing my hands and this creates a vibration in my body okay so this is called the mudra it's called the stambha mudra stambha to activate the fire okay to seal the fire this is the mudra so bringing the five elements these are the five elements together and enlightening lightening yourself right here okay so you will be holding this mudra and you will be inhaling uh, through the om out okay and you will be exhaling through the om out why the om out in my previous classes i've discussed that so let's come back to our main practice so you will be inhaling exhaling through the om out eight times eight times okay we're going to complications now okay eight times inhaling exhaling inhaling exhaling inhaling exhaling that's the start let's start with this okay right here okay so hands here eyes will be closed spine straight and hold the stambha mudra and tense and squeeze these uh, hands into the fist so tight very tight eyes closed and allow the body to vibrate and shake and as you do that make a o mouth and inhale through the o mouth and exhale through the o mouth inhale through the o mouth and hold and hold and just hold the breath hold the breath hold the breath and squeeze and tense your body 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 squeeze and make sure the hands are in the fist and the breath is held eyes closed and tense the body tense to hold the breath the breath of life and activate the fire in the body hold 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 through the om out exhale one more time inhale and exhale one more time inhale and hold and hold and tense the body the hands remain the hands remain the squeeze and tense the fist is very tight the body is tight the body is tight the body is tight and hold the breath hold the breath the breath of life the breath of life just hold 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 and om out exhale last time inhale man exhale inhale and hold and squeeze and tense the body squeeze and tense the body do it sincerely make sure your hands in the tight fist and the body is squeezed and tensed and the whole body from head to toe as you hold the breath uh, activate the fire activate the fire and exhale very slowly open your eyes this activates the fire in the body we just did it three times and this was just an introduction this is not the complete kriya we will wait towards the end to i will give you the complete kriya okay so this is to activate the fire uh, according to the sutra kasmatra prana sthitate dehe which i just shared with you as long as there is breath in the body you will become alive and why don't you just hold the breath and prolong your life and this is the way to prolong your life ultimate boosting of your immune system not only that it purifies your blood it clears all the negativity in the head and it clears all the 72000 nadis in the body the 72000 nadis a web of uh, meridians uh, subtle and physical and most of the time these uh, nadis or these meridians are uh, closed due to the way you behave due to the way the words you use due to your environment due to the wrong breathing and all the stuff around and when you inhale and hold the breath it activates the prana the heat in the body automatically clears the 72000 nadis prana starts to flow 
held wealth not just health health comes with wealth you know if you, you don't have a good health there will be no wealth so health wealth and prosperity comes anyone whose prana freely flows and i can talk much more deeper into that so this was just to prepare you for the main kriya which is a bit complicated okay so blessings to you and um, uh, let's dive into our more advanced and the kriya that i was supposed to share with you today okay so this was just to clear you <clears throat> okay let's bring our spine straight you can just do this you know this is good enough for those of you who are very new to these teachings this is good enough and those of you who want to go deeper this is the kriya that uh, i'll be uh, i was supposed to share with you today so it's the same kriya we are just going to bring it on to the next level and again bring the hands into the center uh, in the stambha mudra okay so same thing hands remain tight throughout okay you can relax in between you know for some reasons but other than that make sure you know have a pressure here throughout the kriya so what you going to do is eyes will be closed o mouth you will be inhaling exhaling eight times continuously continuously okay and then on the ninth inhale you will inhale and you will hold your breath and as you hold your breath you will pump your navel eight times then you exhale again you inhale you hold your breath and you pump your navel eight times and again you exhale again you inhale and you hold and you pump your navel eight times and you exhale and this again you will do eight times so this is one round so inhaling exhaling okay eight times and then on the ninth inhale you inhale you hold you pump your navel eight times exhale again you inhale and you pump your navel eight times and you exhale again you inhale and you pump your navel eight times and you exhale and this goes on for eight times this is one round then you do the second round then you do the third round and this can totally go into eight rounds and this is the ultimate kriya for your immunity to boost your immune system there's no better kriya than this and along the boosting of your immune system it will also do a lot of other beautiful things to your clarity of the mind the clarity of the mind the sitting feeling the self the cleansing of the blood and uh, much 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 more so this is an ultimate kriya through the breath you can boost the fire in you and the boosting of the fire boosts your immune system so we will dive into this kriya my friends together so let's dive into it spine straight hands right in the center and make your hands into a tight fist and this tight fist remains uh, throughout the one cycle okay and then you can relax in between of course when you go into the second cycle you can rest in between for a few moments we will do at least one cycle today and if time permits we will dive into the second cycle okay so hands in the center as it is and spine is straight and eyes will be closed and here we go when you inhale exhale through the o mouth make sure you inhale deep and exhale deep and create sound this is the sound of your soul it should be something like this it's like you drink water through the straw and then you exhale and when you exhale make sure you totally exhale and when you inhale make sure you inhale properly completely and if eight is too much for you you can always start with four you can start with six you cannot go beyond eight so, but today's session we will do with eight any time you're feeling uncomfortable for any medical reasons please relax okay let's start our journey hands in the center in between the heart center and the navel center spine straight eyes closed o mouth inhale and exhale and i will guide you uh, somewhere halfway and then i will let you go and then i'll bring you back okay so here we go start and inhale exhale inhale exhale 
Third time. Exhale. Fourth time. Exhale. And the fifth time. And exhale. And the sixth time. And exhale. And the seventh time. And exhale. And the eighth time. And exhale. And now the ninth time, inhale. And hold the breath. And pump the navel eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale. And one more time, inhale. And hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale. And the third time. And hold. And pump the navel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale. And the fourth time. And hold and pump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and exhale. And the fifth time. And hold and pump the navel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and exhale. And the sixth time. And hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale. And inhale. The seventh time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale. And the eighth time. And hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale. Eyes closed. Don't move. This was the one cycle. This was the one cycle. Don't move. Become aware of the sensations in the body. The friendship with the breath first brings heat in the body. At the same time, it activates the sensations in the body. If you're feeling any sensations in the body, uh, vibrations, nag, some sounds that's going on, maybe it's physical sounds, or maybe your receptivity have become more, you can hear your heartbeat, you can hear your sensations in the different pulses of the body. All this is part of Nadi Yoga. You're giving birth to the science of vibration, the science of sound, and the sound sustains you. Remain and sit with it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we go to the second round now. Eyes closed, remain, and remember, throughout the Kriya, these hands stay in a fist. The hands stay in a fist as tightly as you can, comfortably. Okay, so let's start again. Eyes closed, O mouth, inhale and exhale powerfully. And remember, throughout the Kriya, this remains tight, tight. Inhale, so exhale, one. And this is the second one, inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale, and inhale, the third one, sorry, the fourth one, and exhale, and this is the fourth, sorry, the fifth one, and exhale, and this is the sixth one, and exhale, and the seventh inhale, and exhale. And the eighth inhale. And exhale. Now inhale. And hold the breath. And pump your navel eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale. Inhale. And hold your breath and pump your navel eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale. Inhale for the third time. 
and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale. And now we go to the fourth time. And hold and pump the navel eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale. And inhale. And this is the fifth time. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale. And the sixth time. And hold and pump the navel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale. And the seventh time. And hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and exhale. And the eighth time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and exhale. And remain in the posture. You can relax the hands, but the fist remains. You can relax the tightness of the fist, but the mudra, the hand position remains. We are whirling with the breath. We are creating a relationship with the friend, with the breath. And this will activate the psychic fire, which will boost your immune system and which will give you life, which will make you alive. Your mental, your physical, your psychological, all the issues are cleared when the prana starts to flow. My friends, this is an ultimate kriya. This is an ultimate kriya to boost your immune system. Keep up, just sit still, don't move. Allow the Kriya, your sensations, the Nad Yoga, the body starts to sing back to you. Thank you. That's what the body says. It is vibrating. It is feeling the sensations. Beautiful. And now we do the third round, my friends. Remain in the fist as it is. Please tighten the fist, eyes close. And this will be the last round. So be with me and I'll teach you how to end the Kriya. So, Let's start, O oh mouth, powerfully inhale and powerfully exhale. So this was one, a second now. And exhale. Third inhale, powerfully. And powerfully exhale. Powerfully inhale for the fourth time. And powerfully exhale. Powerfully inhale for the fifth time. And powerfully exhale. As powerfully as you can for the sixth time. And powerfully as you can exhale. And for the seventh time, powerfully loudly inhale. And powerfully exhale. For this eighth time, powerfully inhale the breath of life. And hold and powerfully exhale the eighth time. Now the ninth time, inhale. Hold the breath of life and pump the navel eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And powerfully exhale from the navel. Powerfully inhale, loudly inhale. From the cosmos, from the universe, hold and pump the navel eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale. And the third round, inhale powerfully, life and become alive. Pump the life eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale. And now the fourth time, inhale. And hold and pump the navel eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale. The fifth time, my friends, from the universe, inhale the life. Hold the life and pump the navel eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale. Inhale the sixth time. 
hold the breath of life and pump the navel eight times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale powerfully. And the seventh time, inhale. And hold and pump the navel eight times. Make your hand, make sure they're in the fist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale. And last time, as powerfully as you can from the universe, inhale the cosmos. Hold the cosmos, hold the life, and pump the navel eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, and exhale, and exhale. Now how to end the Kriya? Inhale, hold. As you hold the breath, make your hands into tight fist. Navel in and up, navel in and up, navel in and up. And tense your face, please. Tense your eyes, tense your forehead, tense your skull. This is where your story is written. This is where your doubts is written. This is where the blocks are. Please tense these points and open yourself to the cosmos. Hold and through the O mouth, powerfully exhale. <sighs> Inhale and hold the breath of life and navel in and up. Navel in and up. Navel in and up. Tense your face, tense your eyes. Tense your forehead, tense your skull. Make sure your hands are in the tight fist. The hands remain in the tight fist. Squeeze, tense the body from head to toe. Squeeze and through the old mouth, exhale. Last time, my friends. Inhale powerfully and hold the breath of life and become alive. Navel in and up and tense your eyes, tense your forehead, tense your skull, tense your body, tense your hand into a fist, tight fist. The body starts to shake and vibrate. Hold, 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 hold. Activate the 33 trillion cells and the gods and the goddesses. The cosmos sings and vibrates in you and hold the breath of life. And oh my mouth, exhale. Release the posture, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. The lightness of your being becoming light. If you did it right, this is called awareness. This is called beingness. This is called presence of your soul. Through the breath, you free yourself. With the breath, you cage yourself in the reaper cage. You became a localized consciousness. And through the breath, the key, you shall unlock yourself. And you shall experience the unity, the ikhoankar, the unity of being with all. Feel the sensations in the body. Feel the aliveness in the body. Suddenly, you have become alive. Suddenly, you have become alive. Suddenly you have become alive. Sit with yourself, my friends. You without your story. There's no narration in the head. You're sitting in pure awareness. You're sitting in pure beingness. This is the essence of vipassana, which means a vipyasana, to bring your posture closer to yourself. This is called bringing your posture closer to yourself. Seeing yourself, feeling yourself is called the naked awareness. Sit, don't move. Sit, don't move. Any sensations in the body, physical sensation, energetic sensation, whatever you're feeling in the moment, sit with it. Don't modify. Don't change. Don't modify. Don't change. Changing your breath repatterns your life. Immune system boosted, lightness felt, a kind of a healthness, vibrations, vibrating health it is called, is being felt. The goddess starts to dance. Sit. Even if you're feeling some physical sensations that are not so good, sit with them, my friends. Whatever is in the body will manifest. Feel it, let it go. Sit in your essence. Sit without your story, sit without this, 
sit without that. Naiti, Naiti. Just for 30 seconds. Very slowly, inhale through the Oma and hold and just 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 hold. hold. You'll be amazed your capacity of holding the breath has increased. Why? Because your locks have been unlocked. You can hold this breath, my friends, for a longer time. You couldn't do this before. Why? Because the points in the body have been activated. This was just the start. Had we done this for an hour, you would be in a different realm. I would be in a different realm. And through the Oma, I'll exhale. Very slowly. Open your eyes. And if you need to, just shake yourself. Shake yourself and just tap yourself. And tap your navel center. And tap your legs if you need to. And inhale through the nose. Hold and shake the body. Shake the body, shake your whole body, your feet as well. Stretch your feet out and just shake. Shake the whole body, please. Hold the breath and shake the body. And exhale through the nose. One more time through the nose, inhale. Hold and shake the body. Shake the whole body, my friends. Shake the body, vibrate, let go. Your feet as well. Move your legs, stretch, and just shake the whole body. Exhale for the through the nose and last time inhale and hold and shake the body, shake the body, shake the body and exhale and just relax and sati. So this was a kriya, an ultimate kriya to boost your immune system. Now, this Kriyas that I teach has nothing to do with 3HO or KRI. So these are not 3HO KRI Kriyas. Now, these are the Kriyas as given in the lineage, as given in the Himalayan tradition. And if you're sharing this Kriya with anybody, uh, it will be a humble request to make this very clear. These are the teachings of Yogi Amandip Singh, the teachings of Yogi Amandip Singh. So <clears throat> these are the teachings of the sages in the Himalayan tradition as taught by Yogi Amandip Singh. So <clears throat> I know I was also supposed to share with you some other stuff, some of the herbs and all the stuff that you can have. And uh, I have actually prepared this for you. And this is, uh, this is an ultimate Kriya to boost your immune system and much, much, much more. Uh, if you're finding what should I do for life or what should I do for a practice for long, this is the gift of the Himalayas. This is the gift of the stars for you. Practice this. It's very simple. So eight rounds, eight rounds of each. And to end three times, you inhale and you hold and you lock this. We will be doing again next week. Uh, if you did not get this this week, uh, you will get it next week. Because anything which you hear and again and again, you, you understand it. And uh, it will be uh, good if you can do this uh, practice daily until we meet next time. And if there's any questions you have in relation to the practice, uh, we will sit and we will answer that question. So practice it. So when you practice, if there's anything you need clarification, we will have that session as well. So today I'm going to share with you a, a, a recipe, a herb, uh, that is also an ultimate you know, herb to boost your immune system. Uh, for this, uh, you will need uh, garlic, okay? 
garlic and you will need uh, black pepper okay uh, it can be uh, uh, you know uh, grind or it can uh, not be grind so black pepper okay okay so here you are and then you need to have uh, ginger ginger and then you need raw turmeric not the powder turmeric okay raw turmeric this is how raw turmeric looks like and if you were to break it those of you who don't know uh, it is orange in color the color of the radiance the color of the fire the color of the sun the color of the immune <laughs> immune system okay so these are the four ingredients you need okay so the ginger okay garlic and you need raw uh, turmeric uh, i'm sure you'll be able to get this uh, you know from the grocery stores and all that if not the indian grocery stores uh, have this uh, don't use the powder version i know there's the whole trend of the powder version uh, uh, it is not as effective effective as the raw turmeric and it looks very similar to ginger you know it's also a root uh, the only difference is uh, ginger would be whitish in color and this is an orangish or yellowish in color so what you're going to do is you're going to take one clove one clove of uh, uh, garlic just one clove and then uh, you uh, uh, the turmeric uh half inch you know just this much half inch that's all you need half inch this and uh also half inch of uh, this ginger along with this uh three seeds of black pepper okay and you put it and you grind it or you smash it if you know if you can do it physically you know there's a grinder or the one that smashes use that one and smash it okay smash it until uh, they become uh, very smooth and take that whole thing before you go to bed this is a very important another uh, very important thing not in the morning take it at night before you go to your bed the last thing that you should be doing this is what you do with warm water okay throw it into your mouth and just drink it that's all this will boost your immune system this will also purify your blood and it's an ultimate uh, when these three herbs or these three comes together automatically the immune system is boosted and make sure that all these three are organic get organic version now Uh, some of you after the third day may feel some heat in the body if you're feeling too much heaty then you can start uh, taking these every other day for a week or so and then you can start taking every day this is something which should be part of your life daily you have to take this this is an ultimate remedy for any kind of disease the immune system will automatically be boosted and uh, this is something these are my personal things that i uh, in my travels you know uh, these are something which i take regularly so these are my own uh, recipes that has been given down handed down in the lineage that you receive and also so, you know grandmother secrets a very ancient wisdom that is being handed down in the various traditions so this is my personal uh, recipe Uh, which i take every day and this is the reason why with all my travels and uh, uh, with all my tours all over the world uh, with the grace of guru along with that you know this alone is not enough the grace of the guru is very important and the grace of the guru and the grace and the guidance of my beloved master along with this helps to keep you healthy and this also clears the mind and uh, the beautiful thing about these herbs that come from the earth the herbs that come from the earth below the earth uh, uh, they have this special quality 
because they bloomed in darkness, because they bloomed in darkness, there was no light. Only after they have bloomed, they saw the light. First, they dissolved themselves in darkness, right? Any uh, herbs, any food which comes from the earth, they remove darkness. They remove negativity from you. Uh, that is the esoteric uh, part uh, of the herbs that come uh, from the earth. Okay, they also clear your energetic system. They also help to clear your nadis. The nadis, not only on the physical level, but also on the energetic level. They have special vibes. They came from the womb of Mother Earth. And they can give you the womb-like experience, which means having surrendered to the cosmos. So that is the esoteric side of these herbs. You don't just uh, benefit on the physical level, you also benefit from these herbs as far as the esoteric science is concerned. So along with this, mantras, mantras, chanting mantras, it's another way to boost your immune system. Uh, so today's session, I shared a Kriya with you for immune system, and I shared a recipe, some herbs with you to boost yourself. Try this for a week. And uh, in the following week, uh, I'm sure we will have time for Q&A. If not the following week, we will have time for Q&A, where you can ask all these questions uh, that you may not be clear. And uh, I will, next week, uh, we will dive deeper into this Kriya, and uh, we will also dive uh, deeper into the extension of this Kriya. You will be amazed what will happen. Uh, just with this, you will feel a boost, and. Uh, you will see a difference in yourself. And uh, the following week, uh, I will share another recipe with you and we will dive deeper into the depth and uh, much, 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 much more. So uh, it's my privilege today to sit with you and share this sacred space with you. Uh, the stars were aligned, we set, you set, and uh, we had to meet. So the universe, the cosmos created this opportunity. Uh, it's my vision to help humanity in these times of difficulties. Uh, next week, I will also talk about isolation and the spiritual side of it from the Sufi perspective, how to really make use of this time that you have when you are forcefully disconnected from the world, how to make use of that time, you know, spiritually. Uh, there's the beautiful uh, term in the Sufi tradition, which will expand next week, and that is called Mohabbate Khalbat which means how to fall in love with isolation. Can you believe that? How to fall in love with isolation. Falling in love. Longing for isolation. I'll share, share the deep secrets of the ancient sages, how they make use of this uh, isolation and the longing to be in isolation. And now the universe has blessed us with that. Much more I will dive with you. So it's my vision and it's my mission, I believe, that I want to help humanity <clears throat> and share this wisdom and, uh, you know, as much as I can, uh, play my part, play my role, okay? And now, what is your role? I have played my role. I have given what I have. And now, what is your role? Your role is to share this, share this. Share these uh, links, these videos uh, with your loved ones and uh, uh, invite people, invite people, invite your friends to attend these seminars and these sessions. Uh, it's for everybody. So I did my part. Now your part is to share the videos, uh, share the links and share, you know, uh, on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, please share this event on your face. Uh, book as well, so that uh, this wisdom of the Himalayas can reach as many people as possible. The wisdom of the stars, so everyone starts to feel bright and starts to have the light with the breath. Simple. So, blessings to all of you. Uh, it was my privilege to sit with you. May Guru Ramdas uh, bless all of you with health, wealth, and prosperity, and the highest gift. 
and that is to listen to your own breath and that is how to hold your breath and how to feel your breath, how to become alive with your breath, how to dance with your breath and how to vibrate with your breath. So blessings to you and uh, Satnam. And I believe uh, Devi Kiran, if you have any announcements, uh, feel free to share that with us. Now. Yes, I also have um, a couple questions. Are you okay to answer them? Just one about what was the name of the goddess that you spoke of, the sage, at the very beginning of the session? And then a question. A question. So, you know what? So these these are these are more philosophical uh, philosophical questions. And if there's any technical question in relation to the Kriya, that I will take today. But these questions we will keep, and I will answer this in detail next time, the philosophy side. So if there's any technical questions where people need to know I should be holding the hand here or here or here, if there's any question in relation to the technicality of the Kriya, which is more important, let's have that question first. Okay, so and I guess, do you have a name for this Kriya? So, you know, the, the name, as I mentioned, this is, uh, you know, I just mentioned, uh, you know, teachings of Yogi Amandi, that's it. And this is on immune system, simple as that. Yeah. So all this naming thing and all that stuff, you know, it just handed down like that. And that's how we give it. But you can call it uh, immune system, uh, Kriya for boosting the immune system, uh, simple as that. Great. And when you're squeezing, you're just squeezing the hands in the midst of the Kriya. So only hands are being tensed and squeezed and nothing else. So when this is squeezed, the whole body automatically starts to vibrate and starts to shape. Spontaneous movement starts to happen because this is karma. When you press karma, okay, automatically sensations, vibrations, changes, repatterning starts to happen. So when the body starts to spontaneously move, it automatically repatterns itself. So that's the science behind why we do this. Yeah. Okay. Great. And the hands are pressing against each other. Yes. So you're tight like that, pressing on, on, onto each other. Okay. One pressing down, one pressing up at the same time, tense, and then automatically sensation. See, my hands are moving. I'm not doing this. So this automatically spontaneous, this repatterns the body. When you are not doing it, it's happening by itself. Uh -huh. That repatterns the muscle memory and the bio memory. Okay. Great. Thank you. And, and I know we have a lot of um, questions which actually can be answered if you replay and watch this video. So we will be um, reposting this. Um, so don't worry, your questions are um, in the content here. Another question was about the recipe. Um, mm. Are people allowed to make it and then like save the paste or should they make this nightly? No, no, fresh. That is called laziness. It's being lazy. A yogi is never a lazy. A seeker is never a lazy. You need to put some hard work. If you put hard work, you will be rewarded. It's called mashakkat. You read Japji? Gai mashakkat ka. There should be some hard work. You know, every day you prepare it for yourself. Freshness. When you worship something, you cannot give it stale. When something becomes stale, it loses its prana. Next week, I'll talk about that as well. You know, the whole idea of fresh food and all that stuff. When it loses its prana, it is dead. And when it's dead, if you take something which is dead, you will die. So food, fruit should be fresh. So as fresh as possible, it takes a few seconds only. Just cut, slice, that's it, and just uh, grind it, and it's done. It takes about a minute and a half, and it's worship of the body. It's worship of this ultimate, you know, uh, gift of the creation. So make sure it's, it's a kind of worship for yourself. Make it sacred. Uh, stop eating stale food. Stop eating the food which is uh, overnight. That is the ultimate, you know, the, Disgrace you can give to the uh, human body. Fresh food. When you eat alive food, fresh food, you become alive. So alive food is very important. Okay, freshness is very important. Okay, next. Um, also in relation to this, um, could people, if people can't consume certain things, can mm -hmm. they out? And another question is, could you add things like honey? 
Ah, no, no, no. Don't change the recipe. You change the recipe, you change the whole stuff. No, it goes as it is. Don't change it. No, please accept it as it is, you know. Now, <clears throat> these three herbs, as far as I know, there's no side effect. You know, I've been doing this, I've been sharing this with my loved ones and all that. And now you have become my loved one also. You know, that's why I share it with you. And I have not found any side effects and all that. You can reduce the quantity. So instead of two uh, black pepper, put one black pepper. Instead of one clove of garlic, use a half clove of garlic. You can reduce the quantity, but please don't change the recipe. That changes the whole thing. Honey is the last thing you want to put into this. Please don't do that. Okay, take the recipe as it is and accept as a gift. You know, when somebody give you a gift, you try to modify the gift and it's not good. Neither for the one who gives you the gift and it's not good for you also. So take it as a gift. You can reduce the quantity, but don't change the recipe. And this is very important. Okay, thank you, Sadhana. And what about the temperature? What do you mean the temperature? The temperature of the of this gift. Do you warm up the the ingredients or no, no, just as it is. No heating, no colding, whatever, nothing. As it is. Grind fresh, put into the mouth, drink warm water, go to sleep, have a good night's sleep. You will not have nightmares. Because it clears the prana, it clears the throat center, it clears the navel center. And when the throat center and the navel center is congested, you have nightmares. You have all kinds of dreams. It will go beyond the dream. You have three states of mind, awakened state, dream state, and the deep sleep state. You will be amazed. If you cannot sleep, you take this. It will give an ultimate sleep. You bypass the dreamland and you go into the Shushupti, which is the space where there's pure consciousness. It's called the deep sleep. And every night, every individual touches this for 31 minutes. But due to the body, due to the stuff that you do when you're in the awakened state, this thing is disturbed. And uh, 31 minutes is reduced. And even after having all the sleep and all that, your, ghoul, your immune system is weak. You're feeling tired when you wake up. The reason for that is you are not sleeping or you're not having a deep sleep for 31 minutes. So this is an ultimate remedy even for good sleeps. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, anything else in relation to the technicality of it? Sorry, there's a lot of there's a lot of questions, um, but let's go ahead and yeah. you will have my friends, don't worry, you have a question. The question will be answered with the grace of Guru Ram Das. We will have it, we will have special time. So it just means next week you join us. And we will see next week, we will finish a bit earlier so we can entertain these questions. And if nothing happens, the third session, we can have a pure q and if you want. That's it, right? So yeah, so we will have your questions. We have your questions and you shall have the answers. Don't worry, we will do that. Yeah. Okay, anything else? I think that's it. So thank you everyone so much for tuning in again. Um, to help Yogi Amandeep continue to share these sacred teachings freely, any support you can give us would be, or him would be greatly appreciated, whether that be um, through a financial contribution, which you can do via PayPal, um, through the email address universaltree108 at gmail.com, or PayPal me making of a yogi. And again, as Yogi Amandeep uh, shared earlier, another way you can help us spread the teachings is just simply by sharing uh, this content in any way you can and invite your friends, your family, your loved ones to our next event, which is coming up May 10th and then May 17th. And we'll continue with this series on boosting our immunity through the breath. Yogi Amandeep also offers counseling sessions if you want to go uh, on a deeper journey with him on a personal level. He offers life coaching and spiritual guidance, which can help you with um, depression, anxiety, addiction. And for more information about that, you can email support at makingofayogi.com. Let's see, other than that, you can also stay connected uh, through various platforms. I actually sent something earlier through the chat about all the different links. I'll send it again, because I know there's been a ton of questions since. Um, Instagram at Yogi Amandeep Singh 
is the handle. You can also follow him on Facebook and subscribe to our email list, yogiamandeepsing.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Making of a Yogi. Great. Great. Thank you. Blessings to all of you and um, have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you are and um, a beautiful smile. Satnam.